Hi guys, welcome to today's video and as you can see it's going to be about story, creepy story of Halloween. If you don't know, I love and I've always loved to celebrate Halloween but it's not very common in France so it's difficult to find decorations, costumes, everything is quite expensive, not great really. So when I went to the UK and when I lived there, I was shocked <laughs> to see how much people actually celebrated a holiday and um, I loved it. People went out with costumes, even parents. If you go to a bar on Halloween, everyone is dressed up, wearing costumes, it's amazing i love it even though like i'm i'm scared easily <laughs> but i love to watch a scary movie or dress up uh carving pumpkins and all the things surrounding halloween and today just to change a little bit i thought i was going to read the story of jack o'lantern jack o'lantern so if you don't know what the story is it's going to be about the story of the pumpkin why do we have a pumpkin for Halloween? Why do we make faces and things like that? So I'm going to take my laptop. I'm going to read the story to you. And the great thing is that I selected important words, verbs, noun, etc. And I'm going to explain them to you. Okay, so you're learning English in context with a story. That's amazing. I mean, I think. <laughs> okay, are you ready? for the story. You probably don't know about the true Halloween's pumpkin story, whose real name is Jack O'Lantern. Everything began with an Irish blacksmith, a blacksmith called Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack. Jack was a heavy drinker and he used to hang out, to hang out in a pub where he once met the devil trying to seize his dark soul. To seize his dark soul. Despite his drunkenness, Jake was not that naive. So he proposed to strike a deal. To strike a deal. He would have given him his soul in exchange of a last bender. A last bender. The devil accepted and suddenly turned into a coin for paying his drink. Immediately, Stindy Jack took the coin and put it in his wallet next to a silver holy cross. A silver holy cross. He succeeded in fooling the devil, in fooling the devil. The devil begged the stingy man to set him free and put forward another deal. If Jack had released him, he would have laid off his soul for the following 10 years. Surprisingly, the blacksmith accepted his proposal. Therefore, the devil took his original shape and ran away from Jack. As promised, the two met again 10 years later when the devil came back for seizing Jack's soul. The men asked him to grant, to grant his last desire, eating a juicy apple. The devil accepted and climbed up a tree in order to pick the fruit up. So Jack carved a sign of the Holy Cross into the bark and trapped him again. Humiliated, the devil had to promise Jack not to bother him for the following 10 years in exchange for freedom. A decade later, Jack died of old age and one night his dark soul flew to the afterworld. Paradise really did not want to welcome such a stingy man and heavy drinker like Jack. So the angels chased him away, chased him away in hell. The devil soon recognized his enemy's soul. 
and refused to allow Jack into his kingdom. Jack started complaining about how cold the outside weather was, so the devil threw him a burning coal, a burning coal, and said goodbye forever. In the end, Jack put the burning coal into a carved out pumpkin, a carved out pumpkin, and has been wandering the earth looking for a place where to rest eternally. When Irish people migrated to America, they told everyone their legend and Americans replaced the term turnip, turnip, with the most common vegetable, pumpkin. And that is why we call him Jack-o'-lantern. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was very fun to read that and uh, I feel like I'm <laughs> reading to children, really. But lots of great vocabulary to carve, to seize, coal, pumpkin, a blacksmith, a bender. So lots of great terms. And there are other terms that I want you to explain here that you will encounter with all the Halloween craziness going on. The first one is a difference between candy and sweets. You might see candy or sweets and you don't really know what the difference is. Well, there is no difference. So sweets is British English. So candy or sweets really are the same thing and children, or I, I also do, love sweets. Now, trick or treat, trick or treat. And that's what children say when they go door to door to ask for sweets or candies to people. So usually the night of Halloween, you wear a costume, you could be a vampire, a witch, whatever, and you have a little basket. So you have a little basket to put the sweets in and you go door to door to ask for sweets or candies and you say trick or treat because if the people don't want to give them treats, candies or sweets, then they might play some tricks on them. Now, another thing is different adjectives to say scary. So you know probably scary, but you could say frightening, creepy, spooky. Uh, guys, tell me what is your favorite part of the story? Did you know all these words, all these adjectives? And I will be happy to see you in my next video next week. Have a great day. Bye!